Hey guys, good morning from St. Isidore's Farm. Been raining here a lot, which makes some things on the farm difficult, but one good side is we get lots of mushrooms. In particular, these right here. This is a chanterelle mushroom, Canth Cantharellus chiabaris. And let's see if I can get this to zoom in, focus on here. Classic trumpet shape, fall skills going down onto the stem, but a wonderful edible native mushroom. But what I want to show you in this video is a relative of this mushroom, which doesn't get quite as much attention, the cinnabar chanterelle. Okay, before I go on to show the cinnabar chanterelles, these are the little buttons of traditional chanterelles coming up. So if I stand up and move back, you can see how tiny they are compared to that pine branch and needles on the ground. But these will start to pop up. And there you go next to a pine cone, how tiny it is. There's another one over there. So if you go out walking in the woods, especially this time of year, just look for yellow, bright yellow, orange things on the ground. And those will be chanterelles usually because the good thing is, is you don't usually have too many yellow leaves on the ground this time of year. All right, now on to the cinnabar mushrooms, which the first little group of them is right there. Okay, so here is a tiny, the beginning, little button of Cantharellus cinnabarinus, uh, the cinnabar chanterelle. So a much smaller version. Here's just a couple, but what I'm going to show you is how prolific these become. Uh, if I look, if you look up into the woods here, so this is the same. Mushrooms, some of these are a little bit weathered. They've been out obviously getting pummeled by the rain, but lots of new ones are coming up. Let's see, walk over here. Um, there's actually a fairly large variety version. Uh, again, kind of beat up from the, the rain and a little disfigured underneath but that's actually a fairly large one for this variety of mushroom. But you can see they are truly everywhere. And I can show many more places on our farm. So same, let me get this to zoom. Um, same fall skills going down onto the stem, not a, a transition down onto the stem and have forking, classic sign, and they are just prolific. So we will be doing a fairly large harvest of these wonderful little mushrooms. Then there's another one, a little, little thin on the stem, kind of uh, stringy but they are terrific edible mushrooms. So you can imagine, see how quickly we can harvest a number of these for um, something like soups or uh, on pizza or in eggs. And again, they just continue to walk along. There's everywhere. Large ones right here, clustered together, three of them. Just beautiful. We'll get these while I'm here. And just keep going all the way out 
onto our trail. Some of these we've been riding through here and uh, also hiking and running. But you can see there's no shortage of them. Okay, in, in another spot in our woods, but look at the size of these. Cinnabars usually are very, pretty small. Like the, the size, we said already, size about uh, the head or cap is about the size of a quarter. But look at these by comparison. Uh, these are some really big. This one just, sorry, looking. This is just a beautiful, large, beautiful cinnabar chanterelle. And, uh, sorry for the bad, I'm looking with my eyes, not my camera. Uh, here's another one that's a little, a little tired and beaten up by the, the rain, a little bit, a little bit older, but still uh, delicious just the same. And you can see, if I pan up, that they continue to go through. Actually, if I move over here, you can see that now they're fairly large. Trail right here, get this one. And, um, <clears throat> but next to it are a couple, just a couple of uh, true, the regular chanterelles. And uh, these are small ones, but uh, compared to out west, as I understand it, the Pacific Northwest, we just don't get exceptionally large chanterelle mushrooms here uh, in North Carolina compared to out there. So uh, usually the ones I harvested last night were uh, pretty large, probably as big as, uh, a little bit bigger than this for the, the typical uh, yellow chanterelles. That one's been beat up uh, by the weather quite a bit, so it's not in too great a shape. But anyways, that's it. Okay, so that was it. Just wanted, I, I was out last night and saw we had cinnabars coming up everywhere. So I wanted to get up this morning, make a quick video. But again, if you're out, uh, especially here in Piedmont, North Carolina, where it's been raining a lot, uh, they're, they're just, uh, even as I walk around, there are thousands of um, these beautiful, um, and the sunlight is gonna wreak havoc on shooting this. Uh, there we go, kind of orange and yellow, if I can get these to, get the camera to just to see the difference between these two mushroom varieties the uh, cinnabar chanterelle and then just the the regular the regular this one is young it would have probably gotten much larger a little bit larger uh, expanded out more it was still obviously growing so uh, hence the the edge the way that it is it would have flared out and looked more like this kind of a classic chanterelle look there you go see the color so if you're out hiking, walking around this time of year, keep your eye on the ground, look, and if you see uh, the bright yellow or bright orange, there are some look-alike mushrooms, but truly, they don't really look that much like chanterelles if you, if you look at them and identify, uh, identify them like jack-o'-lanterns and others. They, they really don't look that much uh, like these. So, um, and uh, again, I had a bunch of them last night, and I'm here living to talk about it and no no worse for the wear they were really really truly delicious if you like mushrooms these are wonderful so that's it um, thanks for watching hopefully get up a, another video soon have a great day god bless